What's up, everybody? Welcome to Will Mama. But must <laughs> people here have been arrested? Is what I was gonna say, and then I was gonna. St I wasn't gonna. <laughs> what is wrong with you today? That's not what I was trying to say. Potty mouth. That's not what I was trying to say, bro. <laughs> Well, there's the community health center. I guess that's where you go. <laughs> that kind of is. going to drop me off right there. Mm. Uh, no, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to do a play on words. And that word was going to be in the background. I wasn't going to say it, but I was going to make you think I was going to say it. But then I didn't say it. Last time we were here, didn't we eat here? No. No. Uh, yeah, obviously, is that a pimped out Volvo? Oh, very authentic. Very authentic Mexican experience with large buckles. Oh, do you smell the fried tortillas? <sighs> Breathe it in. That's where you get the food. Dude, last time. Yeah. All you smell is fried fried tortillas. Bro, all you smell, you just like smell like, I guess they're corn. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Might have changed a lot since the last time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Squatted. F2 I remember this place. Yeah. And it looks like they've like done some updating. Well, it's been a while. It might have changed a whole lot since the last time. Yeah. Right and they put in Pringles. a Dollar General. Nice. I can tell it's brand new. This place, new. I mean, like seriously, if you come to the Tampa area mm -hmm. and you want to have some good Mexican food, this town mm -hmm. has a lot of good Mexican food. Like seriously. Probably the best Mexican food in Florida is in this town. Yeah. Maybe it was in Alabama. They had cities in Florida. Mm -hmm. Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. What are they rated? I will find out. Bro, everything in this town is Mexican. Even the Mexicans are Mexican. They're not Guatemalans or. <laughs> that ain't right. You know that ain't right. There's this little store here. What's gas worth? 4.2. Yeah. <clears throat> also, look at the photos and see what looks more authentic. Yeah. And forget the ratings. They use more important than the ratings because okay. it could be like somebody from like another state that just came here and be like, you know what? They weren't wearing masks. I'm gonna give them a two. Welcome to Wimalma. Welcome to Wimalma. All right, guys. So the phone got really hot because it's been recording so long. So we're back at it again. It's like, no, we don't want to miss any of this footage. This stuff is incredible. We don't want to miss out on this opportunity to show you the splendid place. Oh, it is close to Polk County. Stance, it's, yeah. Yeah, Stance. Yeah, it is kind of that region of the state where there's all types of... Okay, this is a place we ate last time. Yeah. Remember this place here? Yeah. Are they open? They were okay. Yeah. They weren't bad. It looks like they should be. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah, there's people there. You think they'll trade for a Yukon? <laughs> That's a... I don't know. You like it? I don't know about the color, but I... I don't think it's worth 15 euros. Hmm. The trailer park looks... Okay. Like the trailer park? Oh, he said hi to us. Cool. So, like, great, just like that's our luck right there. Mm -hmm. Our windshield fogs up. We come all the way back here to have our windshield fog up. I <sighs> can't believe this. Our windshield is totally fogged up because of the air conditioner mm -hmm. from earlier. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering why I was blasting the air conditioner, it's because I was blasting the air conditioner to cool down the phone because the phone got too hot. Welcome to Mama. Okay, I think the real good Mexican food isn't even like in those restaurants. I think it's like back here. All I smell is like burnt, like tortillas and stuff like that. Little flour, corn, tortillas. The smell is like intoxicating. Okay, we're deep in this place now. All right, sweet tomorrow. Chicken coops. Mobile homes, rastas. Welcome to. Is there a way out of here? No. Is it that in? Yeah. There. Dude, no trespassing. We gotta pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, there's a truck over behind us. We're gonna have to pull out. Dude. 
this is agricultural housing for you. Yep. So no trespasses, so we gotta pull up out of here. Sorry, we're making a big show here, aren't we? Yeah. Definitely making a big show in a neighborhood that's like this kind of like. Oh, yeah. Like, nobody like drives around this town if we're not from here. Yeah. We're not from here, we're driving around looking like idiots. That's the stuff of legends. Like, did you see La Gringa and La Truca? Con el celular grabando Juan. Oh, it's muy peligroso. <laughs> Maybe they're scared of us. Like, oh, it's muy peligroso. No sé por qué esto es muy malo, Juan. <laughs> esto es un grave problema. Bro, I wish I could just, like, join a family. I forget about going to a restaurant. Like, I wish I could just join one of these families. It's dinner time. Like, all you smell is, like, Tortilla ships and stuff like that. Of course, they might offer us more than just like the like gringos. I know why you're really here. It's not for las tortillas. You do not have to be shy, my friend. I know why you're here for real. No, Juan, de verdad. It's solamente las tortillas. Like, oh no, relax, my friend. We get to know each other already. We can we can have this converse. I know what we're just here for the food. I know no usted vino por otra cosa, gringo gordito. I know gorditos like you, I know, I know gorditos. Well, you're not here for las tortillas. Usted is here for something else. Think about it, if it really was the best place, wouldn't there be more people than that? Mm. Have you thought about that? Yeah. If it really was the best place in town, where are the most people at? That's how you really know. At this food truck over here? This food truck has got the most people. Although that hasn't always been true for us in the past. Yeah. Like we've, we've done that. Like, we, like we, where you look where are the most people at. Sometimes the, the cheapest one is the one that has the most people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we gotta figure this out. Mercedes Benz. I think our best option is over there. The place we already went to before? Yeah. Yeah, it was good last time. I have had a nightmare with the camera on this video from it being too, from the windshield getting foggy to, this has been a horrible time to record. It's just like the camera hasn't been right. Welcome to Woman Ma, Mucha Musica, Mucha Musica, Tiene Sazón, La Gente de Woman Ma. There's actually a song on the internet about my mama. Mm -hmm. It's about a drug shipment that didn't make it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's a corrido. I looked it up on the internet. I, I did my research. You think I just show up to towns and I don't do the research? I do my research sometimes. I do. So my mama has a song on the internet. They're boxing in their front yard. Okay. Well, whatever it takes to make a living. All right, so we drive through town and we go get our Mexican food. The food was overall pretty good. It took a little bit longer than I would have expected to get the food, but sometimes when it takes a long time to get your food, it just means that they're taking their time and cooking it right. So if you don't know, Wilmama is right outside of Tampa, Florida. It's in Hillsborough County, and it's a small town right outside of Sun City Central, which is a much bigger city that's right next to it. One thing that's really nice is that it's right outside of Tampa. And sometimes getting food in Tampa can be complicated because there's nothing good by the highway. Usually by the highway, everything sucks. So what's nice about this town is that it's not too far off the highway. So if you're heading on Interstate 75 and you're south of Tampa, it's a really good place to get some Mexican food. Also, north of Tampa, there's a little town called San Antonio in Dadeville. There's a Mexican restaurant called del carmen it's another great place to get good mexican food in florida also the towns of fellsmore and immokalee are two other towns where you can get some great mexican food look at the size of this oak tree and it's like heart shaped it's like a big it's like a heart shaped um base around this tree so we're here almost a comer comida mexicana aquí a ver and if you live here with mama déjame saber cuál es el mejor restaurante latino que hay aquí en with mama uh, going off of ratings, it's this one. All right, guys, so we finally got our food here. As you can see, we have uh, tacos, real good tacos right here. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of nice, but... Oh, I knew I felt something. Got me a salad. What do you got, a cat or chicken? Cat. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. What do you think, man? 
I'm just gonna sample this real quick. Cause at the end of the day, we gotta eat and it's dark out here. <laughs> There's a cat trying to get her food. You can get away from me. <laughs> Go. No, we good, man. Go. So we got food in front of us. We'll eat and we'll catch up with you guys later. Yeah. Good Mexican food. Un that would be awesome. All right, everybody. So we just had really good Mexican food. Authentic. I'm sure the other Mexican restaurants in this town are good, too. Hey, if you're familiar with this town or you're from here, and you want to comment what other Mexican restaurants are good, every time we come here, we eat at this one. But there's a bunch of other ones. So if you know any other good Mexican restaurants, let me know. All right, y'all. So that was pretty good. Not bad at all. Good Mexican food. All right, so they're playing. They have like a little video out here. Ironically, they're playing uh, reggaeton from Cuba. <laughs> so that's obviously like Cuban music, but you know, it's obviously Havana, Cuba, right there. So even though it's you know, Cuban. All right, so we're done having our dinner. It's now late at night. for a night drive and get about here. Wow, we're doing very Wow. Do you have a thing we can clean a window here? I don't think so. Hmm. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. No, we can't record like this. <laughs> Go it's really clean. Usually you can tell if it's different <laughs> or gross, but it looks like they keep it pretty clean. It doesn't look too bad. It's a small town, you do whatever the crap you want. You ever notice it's like ever since we saw the town system, there's like a low level hiss. It's like yeah. And it's right next to Sun City Center, which is a more modern city. So like in ten minutes, yeah. you're in Sun City Center. Just make her. Celtic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like half a gas tank. Getting the ass in Tampa night's scary. It's not Atlanta scary, but it's definitely scary. Mm -hmm. 